Have you ever wanted to learn how to Google hack? If so, you're in the right place. Welcome, this is Alt Function and I am Jen. Today, I'm going to show you how to Google dork or Google hack. So Google dorking, AKA Google hacking, AKA Google dorks, refers to the use of advanced search operators within Google. These operators allow users to define their search queries, to uncover information that though is public is not easily accessible. And sometimes information that is public isn't supposed to be. Google dorking is great for reconnaissance, monitoring a company's public assets, journalism, and targeted information discovery. First up, let's talk about some of the most common ways to use Google dorking. I'm gonna show you how to do it for my website. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you site searching. So first off, I'm gonna do site, colon, and then the website that we wanna target. I'm gonna be using my website because why not? And here in our search, you can see that only information from my website pops up. So now we have our targeted site. How can we kind of refine this? So when you're doing site searching, you do site colon website, you will only get returns from that site or domain. Now I'm assuming that you're searching a much larger website, you might get flooded with a lot of different pages. So we're gonna go ahead and remove keywords. The way you can remove a keyword from your search is with the minus. And the second page here you can see is a members page and say, I don't wanna see any members pages in my search. I'm gonna do the site operator, then minus members. And here you will see any of the sites with present members are now gone. Now, if you want to do the opposite and you want to search specific keywords, we're going to use the in URL operator. All right, we're gonna go ahead and keep our target site operator and then we're gonna go in URL and then I'm going to type what I wanna look for. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the members example again. And now we only see the members page. So thinking of this from an attack perspective, they might target a specific website and then use in URL to search sensitive keywords that may display data that is not supposed to be public. An example is in URL dashboard, in URL login pages maybe. Additionally, to in URL, if you wanna search key terms, you can do in title and that will search in the title. Okay, so in addition to keyword searches, we can also do file type searches. Think about what file types data you might be looking for would be stored. Sensitive information might be stored in Excel sheets. You might be able to find manuals in a PDF. Critically think about what you're looking for and where it might be stored. This can help you develop your operators to find the information that you want. And honestly, come to think of it, I can't actually think of where any files are on my website. So we're just gonna try PDF to see what happens. So file type colon PDF. And there weren't any, so yay. I guess there are no publicly stored PDFs on my website. <laughs> show you one more operator and this one's pretty cool it is the related operator so you're able to find things that are related to your target website let's check this one out so we're going to get rid of the site search and we're going to go to related altfunction.com and this one's really interesting go ahead and look on the screen here and what you can see is you can actually see my linkedin profile pops up you can see a couple of my blogs miter attack uh, you can see a couple other similar keywords to alt function, like alt function spelled with a C instead of a K. So as it didn't return a lot of additional information, it's interesting that it pointed right to my LinkedIn site. So as you can see, this operator could be pretty good to add as a tool to your OSINT investigations. This isn't Google hacking related, but I do want to show you one more tool to keep you safe while you're surfing the internet. As you're searching around, you find websites that are a little strange. You don't necessarily want to travel to them, but you would like to see what they're all about. Go ahead and go over to urlscan.io and I'm going to, again, use my website as an example and pop it in. Rawscan.io allows you to sandbox the website, scan it, and look at it without ever traveling to it. This protects you from any potential malicious activity. And here you can see on the screen, there's my website. There's a live screenshot of the front and has a bunch of additional information on it. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Alt Function. My name is Jen. Happy Google hacking. And I will see you next time.